everybody, this is Mike Young, and welcome to the preface of my new V book, Live to 150. As you can see behind me, Live to 150. And as you may have guessed already, the subject of this book is basically going to describe how anybody, really, or everybody can and should expect to live to about 150 years old. And I'm making this preface just for the record, and you'll see it here where you're watching this. This is probably on my YouTube channel or on our nonprofit YouTube channel in June or actually July of 2021. So I'm 51 years old and it got to me, you know, turning 50 recently kind of got me thinking about, you know, how long are you going to live? The average person, if you look at statistics, lives between 75 and 85 years old, something like that. And those, those vary depending upon many circumstances, but that means that basically two thirds of my life is over with already, or just about. And I didn't seem to think that was true. And I also am wondering why people think that they have this life expectancy of uh, 75 or 80 years old. And what can be done about that? Is that realistic? Should everyone be expecting to live there? What things kind of make a difference? So that's kind of how this book came to be. And of course, I've watched relatives and friends get sick die you know all this has an impact on people i've watched myself who i also kind of believe is like the almost like the canary in the coal mine in terms of you know injuring myself or hurting myself i feel like i'm i'm much more sensitive than the average person not just to any kind of physical things that go wrong with my body but also to the food that i put in my body and the almost immediate reactions positive or negative you know when that kind of stuff happens so looking at my notes here that's the goal, obviously. The goal is to get everyone out there who's alive at this point in time, because you have time, and this will be described in the book about how the body can rebalance itself and heal itself from most things. And we all expect the goal to be to live to about 150 years old without any problems, actually live a really good life too, not a, one of decline, declining health, which usually is the norm for people who get older as you get as you get older, it seems like your health just goes straight down. It's like you might as well not even be alive. That kind of attitude, I see that a lot in people, whether they say it or not. You can just kind of see what's going on. So, um, the people that have helped me through this has really been, you know, anyone who surrounded themselves with me or decided to spend some time with me because I'm always thinking about things differently. Of course, my wife Denise. Uh, we spend a lot of time with people like Green Fair. Uh, Gwen, Jen, and Pericles over there at Green Fair in Herndon, Virginia. They've made a big impact here, I guess, from at least from surrounding myself with people who understand and believe a lot of the same things and recognizing that this probably is possible. I mean, I've never had these conversations with them specifically or any of the people I've mentioned uh, to develop this. But after the fact, after I developed it, I started talking to people about it. It just seems to make a lot of sense to me. So you know, why is it important? Of course, it's important because health is the number one thing for everyone. If you're going to live to 150, you're going to have to be in good health. Nobody gets there, you know, on life support. Uh, you know, I mean, you, if you're on life support, you not usually don't last that long uh, unless it's just a very temporary thing because you're in a, you know, a tra very traumatic accident or something like that. And of course, those things aren't covered here. And some people, you know, may be naysayers out there and think, well, gosh, you're going to do all this. I can do all this stuff too, but then I'll just end up getting hit by a bus. That's what will happen. And, you know, that, that can't happen. Just like, you know, you don't have to take care of your, your car, any kind of machinery, anything like your body's a machine. You don't have to take care of it. And it might last for a while. It could last for a good long while, but it probably won't. It'll probably give you all kinds of problems and it'll probably have a very, very limited lifespan. So we're talking about the positive stuff here that we know, or at least seems or at least I know, is going to help you to live to 150. And of course, we're not giving medical advice here. I want to make sure that everyone's clear with that. Uh, I don't have any medical credentials from the existing medical establishment. I am a, a lifestyle nutritionist. I will talk a lot about food because you'll see that food is incredibly important. It's probably the most important factor of you living to 150 years old, 150 years young, having you know, a lot of fun, having a good time, you know, just enjoying life. Food is so important. That's kind of why I'm telling you uh, that for me. And of course, there's a V-book format. I won't get into that too much. That'll be in the introduction. 
but the V-Book format is going to make a, a, basically a free book. It's going to be video. You don't have to read it. I don't have to write it. And it's going to be an ongoing thing. It's going to be a journey. It's going to be an evolving process. Who knows how long it'll take me to completely write this book. It may be till I die, which is in at least another 99 years, according to what I'm telling you guys today. So I think that's it. You know, uh, if you have any questions, by all means, comment below. Your feedback will be taken into account for future chapters of the book. And if you ever want to get back to where we are, be sure to subscribe to the channel here. It's on YouTube only. Well, I think we're also, we might put the videos on our Facebook page, but go to live2150.org.org and that will take you straight over to our Facebook with the search for the different chapters in the book. So you won't have to search them up yourself. And then if you subscribe to our channels for our nonprofit organization, that'd be great. And you'll get updates of new chapters as they're launched. So I look forward to this journey. You know, this, I guess it's a culmination of all the things that I've learned in my life and relaying this information to you guys, looking to get your feedback and hopefully helping a lot of people, a tremendous amount of people to have a lot more enjoyable time while you're alive and to extend that as long as possible. You may have heard this, the slogan or the phrase that you want to die as young as possible, as late as possible. And that's kind of the whole idea here. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, be sure to like all of our episodes. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you in the introduction.